I've been wanting to do this video for so long and maybe now that it's back to school time it made me think about it again. Books, specifically beauty books, and I have some definite favorites in my collection. My book collection in terms of beauty books has actually grown quite a bit lately, and I really just enjoy reading them. I find that they're the kind of book that I might read through cover to cover first, and then I'll keep going back to it for ideas and inspiration and just, you know, help on certain things, and I just think a book is great. It's nice to just have, you know, that physical book that you can grab, as nice as YouTube videos are. And as entertaining as they are, um, an old school book is really fun. And I feel like you also get um, just total comprehensive information about a certain makeup artist, their style. And it's just nice to always be in that state of learning, you know, always taking in something new. I think even if you're a pro, um, it's got to be interesting to see what makes another makeup artist tick and kind of what their special techniques are. So um, I thought I'd share with you my four top favorites. Um, I'm not going to get too detailed on each of them. Just give some overall thoughts on why I like each one and um, who they might be best for. Um, the first one is really probably pretty good for anyone across the board. It's the Bobbi Brown Makeup Manual. This is probably one of my most loaned out beauty books that I have. I've loaned it to friends. I've loaned it to my mom. Um, it really takes you from beginner to pro in terms of makeup, techniques, advice, um, also sort of the, the why behind certain things in makeup and skincare and things like that. I mean, a lot of things I think we just do because we've always done them, but she kind of gets into, you know, why uh, good nutrition actually impacts your skin. There's tons of good basic info like that. Also, selecting shades. There's a lot of great color information and a lot of great pictures to back it all up. There's a lot of basic step-by-step, -step. not necessarily a ton of before and after in here, but you see the process in picture form, which I like with a lot of different basic steps. And I feel like while well, in the makeup industry, Bobbi Brown is known for, you know, great natural looking, you know, makeup that really looks like a true person instead of, you know, looking completely made up. Um, she does have a full section on makeup artistry and advanced makeup applications that really let you see um, what she's capable of and what kinds of um, more unique things she's done. But if you are a makeup artist um, or you just are totally infatuated with all things makeup like I am, um, developing and stocking a professional makeup kit, she takes you through everything, kind of like a checklist of things you should have in your makeup kit, and just doing makeup for all sorts of settings, whether that's magazines or um, television. This is just one of the books that I've come back to time and time again. I have uh, like three other Bobbi Brown books, like the Teenage Makeup and Beauty Rules and just Bobbi Brown Beauty, um, and this is the one that I think has the most packed into the it. next book is called Makeup is Art, and it was fittingly given to me by my artist sister, uh, Kelly, aka Pup, and she got this for me for Christmas, and this is just full of gorgeous pictures and really just creative, creative makeup. Lots of great inspiration in here. Um, you're going to see some totally unique application ideas. If you're a makeup lover, um, you're going to be fascinated by some of these looks, whether or not you would actually wear them out of the house. It's just really cool to kind of look through and appreciate the creativity, the photography. And this book is actually by the Academy of Freelance Makeup. You're going to get some different product suggestions actually in this book. You don't see looks in progress in photos from beginning to end. You do get some step-by-step, -step, you know, how to do certain things. How do you add green feathered lashes? You'll find out in this book. If you are a professional makeup artist, I think you're going to have so much fun with this because they do talk about like underwater photography photography and what it's like to collaborate with other people and what different tools you need and how to apply all those crazy little things to a face that aren't just, you know, lipstick and eyeliner. I think it's really, really fascinating and I think it'll take your coffee table up a notch for sure if you grab this and get it on there. Another iconic makeup artist, Kevin Aquan, has a book called Making Faces and I believe this was the first beauty book I ever got. Um, this is filled with fantastic before and after shots. Um, and it also has a lot of makeup kind of through the ages. You're going to see some really classic makeup looks. The Marilyn Monroe look to the 1920s flapper to just different iconic looks that we know of that we can totally identify. While they're not step-by-step -step photographed, um, there are little sketches that take you through the whole thing. And I kind of like how his looks are put together practically like a... Um, 
like a recipe because he goes through and he'll list out all the products you need and then he'll tell you how to use them just like you're gonna cook a meal you know there's gonna be some people you see in here celebrities that you're very familiar with and people you don't know but he does go through some nice basics in the start and there's some great pictures there I find that I look back at this book a lot um, not just for um, reference for myself just to to pick up new tricks and stuff but also just to be entertained by the sheer beauty in these pictures and the wonderful ways he has captured you know an entire era in a makeup look I love that and what I'm currently reading I am loving so much it's by Scott Barnes and it's called about face and this is really probably my favorite when it comes to the before and after shots. you are one who loves to see a total transformation happen I think he does a great job of not only showing you the before and the after but actual photographs that take you through the whole process so you can really get a feel for okay this makeup product did that to her skin or you know this is how he applied this or that you get so used to get seeing that kind of information in video form that you know when you look at it in a book you got to think oh that's challenging to show a whole process all the time but he really does it well there are a lot of basics addressed in the beginning and he still manages to kind of tell you about those things while showing again more before and after just more wonderful examples as visual as makeup is those those examples that we can actually see um, and remember are great and I also like how when he's doing the makeovers on different ones um, you see a little interview happening in the sidebar and it kind of makes you imagine like you're just sitting in the room while he's talking to this person doing their makeup you know talking about different things about their makeup routine or whatever. I think I probably like the looks in this book the best I mean if I were looking for some looks that I'm really gonna put on myself and really have a lot of takeaway from this book um, it's just great. This is probably my pick for great before and afters. Kevin Aquan's Making Faces um, great for seeing classic makeup looks through the ages. Um, Makeup is Art is again going to be that one for those of you who want crazy creative makeup ideas and just a real feel for what it may be like in the industry, um, the different scenarios you may be in as a makeup artist. And the one I really feel everybody, no matter who you are, can take something from is probably the Bobbi Brown Makeup Manual. Very easy to read, but not dumbed down at all, if you know what I mean. So those are some of my favorite beauty books. I find that there's not a long car trip that I go on that I don't toss one of these in there just to get some new ideas, get some fresh kind of inspiration. So if you have any ideas for me, any great beauty books that you love, um, definitely let me and the rest of us know and have a great day. See you next time.